There it is, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, let's get this thing. Get in there. Yeah. Man, man, let's go. Go, go. Let's get this thing. Easy money. That's what I'm talking about. So, fire. Ah, gotta hit that follow through. Come on. Come on, let's get one more. Let's get one more. Hey. The NBA is calling me, but I gotta keep working. Gotta keep proving myself. It all starts with me. This is my story, and I ain't gonna let nobody write it but me. My career, my legacy, begins right here, right now. Man, <clears throat> I've been looking all over for you, man. Should've known you'd be here. Yo, man, just putting in some work. <sighs> what up, man? This is what's up. Bam! Yo, is that what I think it is? The NBA Rookie Showcase, New York City, baby! <laughs> That's the shot we've been waiting for. Oh my God, man. Just one step from the NBA. <laughs> hey, look, man. This is exactly the shot we needed, man. You bring it in the showcase, and you are guaranteed to go in the first round, man. Guaranteed. Yo, you know I'm gonna be ready, man. That's why I've been out here for the past two hours putting in this work. Yo, man, this is what I've been fighting my whole life for, man. Hey, man, you earned it. You deserve it, man. You about to light up the stage and play your way right to the big show. <laughs> Yo, man, you just trying to get that fat agent's fee, man. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at me, dawg. Look at me. You know it ain't got nothing to do with that. I'm not saying this because I'm a fan, man. I believe in you. All right, man, I'm feeling you. Well, look, I got three weeks to get out there and do my thing, so why don't you roll out? Let me get back out here and do what I do best. Hey, unless you want to hang around Shaq's balls, do what you do best. Oh, that's a low blow. <laughs> Especially since I remember a certain city championship, huh? Will yours truly save the day when you went out with foul trouble? Yo, man, that was the sixth grade, man. I'm a hero. <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right, man, I'm gonna give you that one. All right, man, yo, I'll catch up with you later, all right? I got some calls to make, including planning our trip to NYC, all right? Hey, don't burn yourself out now. We need you fresh. Ain't happening, man. I was born for this, man. I'm ready. Captain speaking, we have begun descent for our on-time arrival into New York. Please prepare for landing and enjoy your stay.
Hey, how you doing? Ready to get out there and show them what you made of? Yeah, ready as I'll ever be, Coach. Look, I don't need to tell you this is a huge opportunity for you and everyone else playing this game. You make a good impression, you'll be a lock for the first round. Don't get ahead of yourself. Right now, just focus on playing your game and showing everyone what you can do. Oh, I will, Coach. This is what I was born to do. Time to let the world know. All right, listen. Before we get out of there, I want to talk to you one more time about Jackson Ellis. You'll be matched up against him for most of the game. It's inevitable the scouts will be trying to see who will make the better pro. I can tell you firsthand, he's not a player you want to take lightly. You up for the challenge? Yeah, I know it's not going to be easy. I got some respect for Ellis in his game. Yeah, I'm going to do my best to shut him down, though. It's going to be quite the battle. Sounds like your agent has you well prepared to deal with life in the spotlight. Either that, or you're one of the most well-adjusted kids I've ever dealt with over these years. You just be ready for Ellis, okay? Now we got a game to play. See you out on the court. Hey man, you ready for this? What's up, Jackson? Yeah, I'm ready. I didn't expect to see you till we got out on the court, though. Yeah, well, it looks like they're gonna have us match up for most of the game, so I just want to let you know I ain't gonna be taking it easy on you. Not expecting you to, man. This is a big night for both of us. Hey, man, I've seen enough of your game to know that me and you are gonna be competing for the same teams. So we just gotta go out there, do what we do best, and see how it all plays out, you feel me? All right, all right, take it the easy way out then. You might not want to do that on the court, though, or I end up owning you out there. Hey, how's it going, Jack? I think they're ready for you out there. Oh, this is your agent. Good luck with that, bro. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't let him get in your head. Hey, focus on the game. We'll be seeing, seeing plenty more of him in the future. Teach that dude a lesson, though, whether it's on the court or off the court. Uh, on the court. We can't afford to have you getting sidetracked dealing with some drama. <sighs> hey, just shut it out, man. Play your game. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you. Thanks, dog. All right. Live from New York, it's the NBA Rookie Showcase game. Featuring some of the hottest basketball talent from around the world is they will put on a show to try to punch their ticket to the NBA. It's the first step towards what could be an amazing NBA career. Anthony Bennett out of UNLV has tremendous athleticism. But the question remains, can he bang with the skyscrapers in the NBA? Victor Oladipo, one of the strongest wings you'll see. He just oozes athleticism. The former Hoosier can finish inside and lock down anyone with his defensive skill set. Otto Porter Jr., the Georgetown Hoya, who can give you a little of everything and do it with good size out on the perimeter. A very composed shooter from outside. Cody Zeller, the stat sheet stuffer extraordinaire from Indiana, knows how to produce an agile seven-footer who can simply explode in the post. Alex Len, the tower of amazing physicality. He has the potential to be an instant impact player down low, right out of the gates. The NBA All-Stars of tomorrow are up next, live from New York. Welcome to the Champs Rookie Showcase, where we'll see the top prospects competing for a top spot in the upcoming NBA draft. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. And Kevin, you know, this is a game I always look forward to. I mean, there's excitement and anticipation. There's such a great concentration of young talent. This really begins the process for these young men of kind of measuring themselves against the best players in the world. 
world, so I'm looking forward to it. Man, keep in mind, guys, you know, scouts and GMs have watched these players all season long, so this game is very important, but it's really just one more piece of the puzzle. Now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And, guys, what are we going to be looking for in this one from Burke? Well, he's really a do-it-all point guard offensively. He can shoot from the outside, penetrate, makes good decisions, whether on the drive and kick or in the pick and roll. Yeah, I like him because of his shooting ability and his smart. He's a guy who thinks the game. He's more athletic than you think. He has tremendous ability to shoot it off the dribble, and that makes it tough to deal with him, especially when he's involved in pick and rolls. And he does a nice job of keeping defenses off balance. Well, guys, how about the anticipation for this year's rookie showcase? When you look in the stands, the celebrities, the stars, they're everywhere. You got press, scouts, GMs, and then you add in the players and the fans. I mean, the buildup and the excitement for this exact game, where so much is riding on the performance of these young and talented players. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Me too, Steve. You can really feel the buzz in the air. I mean, people have been talking about the players and what's to come of the upcoming draft. and. There's an awful lot to be excited about this time of year. Michael Carter-Williams, a 6'6 point guard out of Syracuse, very athletic, able to get into the lane and finish inside. Just has to improve his jump shot. That was his shortcoming at the collegiate level. Here's Ellis after the made shot from Zeller. One kick kicks to Carter-Williams. Six to shoot. Here's Ellis. Here's Len. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. The Stars shooting their first free throw of the game. And back to Carter Williams, a sophomore last season at Syracuse, but he's actually two years older than most in his class. He'll be 22, Clark, by the time the NBA season starts. And you know, that's something the GMs will definitely take into account. It's not just how good of a player you were in college, but also how good were you for your age. I think sometimes GMs get a little too carried away with that. Can a guy play? Age shouldn't be a factor. Here's Porter. Uses the glass to finish the load. So deflating for a team, or coughing up the ball at one end and then it turns into immediate points at the other end. And it's just as much of a boost for the team getting those easy points off the steal. Muhammad sets a pick for Carter Williams. Pass to Land. And you know, when you look back to last year, guys, we got to see Anthony Davis, Damian Lillard, Bradley Beal. You're talking about some elite talent that entered the NBA for the 2012-13 season in last year's showcase. You're talking about guys that really entered the league with a bang. I mean, you got to add in Jared Sullinger to the list now because he was productive, but also he and I share the same college matriculation, the Ohio State University. And what a great rookie year we saw from Deion Wade. And it's great to see all the best and the brightest young prospects in one place. Going at it five on five. Yeah, there's only so much you can really gather from shooting drills and running through cones. Nothing beats the real thing, that's for sure. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Burke, the pass to the beast. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And no question, he got bumped on that shot. Definitely no room for discussion on that one. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he knocks down the first one. At the line number two. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Ellis goes in. He dishes it to Carter Williams. Back to Ellis to the wing right side six to shoot and he knocks it down good looking through there for Muhammad Muhammad's got his first three points of the game leads trail by five and play stops whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen well if you're going to set a screen like that you've got to make sure your feet are set I agree with you and I thought maybe he was set that time Steve I thought it was a good screen on his part Now here's Carter Williams, defended by Burke. Ellis dishes to Carter Williams. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. 
Hunter Williams has got his second basket. And you know when you talk about this showcase game the question is always how much should GMs weigh this single game versus the player's entire body of work. And I've sat in that chair Clark, and I, I think the entire body of work is important. You can't as a scouter Jim you can't let one game really determine uh, your opinion of a player. And the stars have possession. The elites getting the bucket there. Carter Williams off the pick from left. And again it will fall. That's the good there from Carter Williams. Carter Williams has got six points. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Yeah, that's five of their last six baskets inside the lane. They have really established themselves inside. Now here's Porter. Here's Burke. Gets a very good look and converts. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the elite's coach as he addressed his team. He said that first and foremost, they need to take away the fast break. He does not want to turn this game into a track meet, and he made sure his guys understood that. He also told them they need a strong presence on the defensive glass. He does not want second chance points to be their downfall. Guys, we'll just have to watch how it plays out here in the first half. Kevin, back to you. And thanks for that story, Doris. And that's going to be out of bounds. And they retain possession. The Stars making a switch here. Adams checked in. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Go Bear, he's checked in for Zella. Here's Burke. It's stolen by Carter Williams. And now Ellis running the floor all by himself. Well, this is how you completely rattle an opponent's rip. Yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D. It was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. Tries to save it. Out of bounds. The Stars will take possession. For the Stars, Plumley comes in for Bennett. And you know, by the way, guys, I love the fact that this game is being held right here in New York. Talk about being the center of the media universe. Well, Steve, I even saw some cameras flashing before the game taking pictures of you, my friend. <laughs> You've reached celebrity rock star status, even in your understated way, man. Unbelievable. And really, New York is the mecca for all things big. We know that. And the way the NBA has grown in popularity over the last few years and decades, no shortage of opportunities to get to learn about the league and what all of the teams are doing to try to up their chances for success in the upcoming season. It's been a nice game for Carter Williams. He has eight points, and he was able to come up with one steal, too. Yeah, he's defending very well, Clark. He's disrupting the, the offense. Uh, he's playing the passing lanes, trying to put as much pressure on as possible. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. On the court for the Stars. Ellis is out there with Carter Williams. Then there's Len, and there's Bennett, and it's Muhammad in at the threesome. Count it, and the Stars' lead has been cut down to just four points with a bucket from Burke. Well, he wasn't phased at all by the bigger man on him, and on the low block, I thought he might be. You know, Steve, I thought maybe he'd prefer to bring him out to the perimeter, but whatever works, go to it. And he's certainly impressed with his play thus far. Yeah, a chance here to make an impression with so many eyes on you, and he's risen to the occasion. Now, here's Burke. Can't cash in from the left block. They're really getting the work done inside with their rebound. They're not giving up too many second chance opportunities, which is always important. And it's been one of the reasons they have the lead right now. Carter Williams with it, guarded by Burke. Here's Muhammad. And the Stars, another three. And he's certainly turning some heads with his play thus far. Yeah, maybe showing he's been uh, a little overlooked, but he's been impressive here. Anthony Bennett, a freshman power forward out of UNLV. Well, he wasn't expected to play here at the rookie showcase after undergoing left shoulder surgery, but I guess his rehab is ahead of schedule. A second chance effort, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Well, you allow them to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Yeah, I think you got to foul them as free throws are better than a layup. The elites have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. 
Clark back to Bennett. Another top prospect out of Canada. He grew up in Toronto. Well, I tell you, Canada has actually produced some outstanding players here recently. Tristan Thompson, Andrew Nicholson, Kelly Olenek, all young Canadian players, not to mention the likely number one pick next year. And when you talk about upside, Bennett is a guy who has that. Now here's Len. Seven points in the game. Muhammad, no luck. Boy, he really bungled that finish. Here's Porter, and easy two points on the way. Boy, he is a strong finisher on the fast break. Yeah, he sure is. He remains in total control, even at full speed. I love that about him. And the Stars leading by five. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Now here's Carter Williams. Defense right on him, and he gets it to go. Then it's got his first points of the game. A terrific display of passing ability out there. I mean, he's doing a fantastic job. And that's what we expected to see with his court vision. I mean, he makes things happen offensively. Here's Burke. Kicks it to Noel. And it's blocked by Len. And here is Muhammad, 16 feet away, hit the tip. Great positioning on the putback. Land's got the lead up to nine now for the Stars. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Stars. Boy, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. And the other thing they're doing is forcing a lot of turnovers, and that's helping them to get easy points at the other end. Plenty of pressure in a game like this to impress. He has it. Now the pressure might be getting to him. But everybody's in the same boat here. And another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep our eyes on. The Stars shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. The first one falls. That one is no good. Another trip to the strike form. And I'll tell you what, a little bit of a different feel here in the second quarter. A little more banging going on. This team is never afraid to get physical. I think they enjoy this style of play. So I tell you what, it was the good pick that was set that turned him loose. And once he got around it, Steve, it was smooth sailing right to the hole. Well, because of the pick, he had plenty of room. That's why he was able to power down that slam. Now here's Carter Williams. 11 points in the game. That's good. Carter Williams has got 13. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Now, here's Burke, defended by Carter Williams. Burke with it. They set the screen. Just five on the clock. And stolen by Bennett. Ellis kicks to Muhammad. It's blocked by Zeller. And Steve, I like what we're seeing from him defensively. Yeah, me too, Clark. I mean, he's really taking on the challenge, and that's smart. I mean, scouts are looking at that as, as much, if not more, than what you do offensively. Ellis buries it down low. And it's a 12-point Stars lead. He's been key for this team's offense, the way he's distributed the ball. Yeah, you know, the offense is just moving through him, Steve. Uh, no doubt. Here's the beast. He has seven, and good on the basket. Book it. And when his name showed up on the list of players participating, it was, you know, Clark, a bit of a shock around the NBA. Kevin, just because you weren't known by many at the start of a game doesn't mean you can't be known by all at the end of one. Big chance for the young fellow to make a name for himself here. Bennett, a follow-up champ. And the Stars lead by 12. You know, so many games are decided by which team wins the rebound battle. And that's held true in this one so far, Steve. And even if it's only a modest advantage that they have in that category, it's still a significant factor. Now here's Zeller. Burke kicks to Noel. Shot clock at six. The dish to Burke. Fires for three. And it's sent back by Carter Williams. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. And the Stars now going with a whole new group out there. And we've reached halftime in this one. Stars lead by 13. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports.
And now we return to one of the highlights of the entire year, the Rookie Showcase brought to you by Champs. And plenty of scouts and GMs still in attendance for the second half. And, you know, never too late for these young prospects to make a great first impression. Yeah, still time to show them something, open some eyes, and, you know, that's what they're here to do. The Beast, he's in a shooting guard. Noel is out there with Zeller. Then there's Burke, and it's Porter in at the small forward position. That's the group on the floor for the elites. Well, what can you say? I mean, he's good, and he's making sure everybody here knows it. Well, it's been his lifelong dream to play in the NBA, and he's showing he's ready for the challenge. You know, one of the things I noticed this year on my way into the big event here is all the glitz and the glamour. I mean, the arena's decked out. You've got vendors outside, the limousines with all the celebrities coming to attend. Uh, tell you what, I, I'm just glad I'm wearing my best outfit because otherwise I wouldn't have fit in very well. Yeah, you look sharp, buddy. You are as sharp as they come in. As we were talking earlier on, the paparazzi and all those other folks making their way out. And because they're here, this has become one of their key events of the year here in New York. And that's saying a lot, considering all that goes on in the big out. Rejected by Bennett. And here we go, up the floor. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. The Stars have only one missed free throw. They've had five attempts and made four of them. <laughs> Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Leads trail by 16. Here's the beast. He's got nine. Porter kicks to Burke. Here's Zeller. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Zeller's got his second bucket of the game to go. Very surprising to see Nerlens Noel here at the pre-draft showcase. Of course, he tore his ACL back in February, underwent surgery shortly thereafter. Normally, there's at least a six-month turnaround, but here he is. Under outside, Len grabs the board. Len's got six rebounds in the game. Carter Williams, the pass to Len. Now here's Carter Williams. Tight defense on him. Back to Ellis. Inside. And that goes out of bounds. And they retain possession. You talk about Nerlens Noel, about how the talent pipeline out of Kentucky has continued to filter these great players into the NBA. A, a top pick for the Wildcats. And still, this is actually a pretty lean year. Yeah, just two potential picks in Noel and Goodwin. How about back in 2012, though? Six players drafted out of Kentucky. Back in 2010, five of them. Leads trail by 14. Can't hit. Great D that time from Landon. Boy, they've really dominated on the glass, and of course, they've done a lot of good things here tonight, but the rebounds have played a major factor. Hey, Steve, you know rebounding always one of the key barometers in determining the victor. Now, here's Burke. He's covered by Carter Williams. Yeah, he got whacked. Shouldn't be much debate on that one. Yeah, that was as straightforward as it gets, guys. The elites have made three of five free throw attempts. Both free throws, good from Burke. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Now here's Carter Williams. 15 points in the game. Now Muhammad. Six on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. It's rebounded by the elites. Noel's got rebound number five here tonight. This offense's first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. Burke kicks to Zeller. Makes it off the glass. Zeller's got four points this quarter. You know, you look at this young man, the physical tools clearly there. Length, athleticism, he's got a nice package. You know, and so often for NBA decision makers, that's where it all starts. Some things you can teach, but those physical gifts are something you either have or you don't. Ellis with it. Now defended by the Beast, Ellis dishes to Bennett. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. The shot is off. Here's the Beast. Nine points in the game so far. And he banks in the lane. 
They got on this roll a while ago, and they just haven't looked back. Well, you look across at the other roster, and there's a player he's going to be going up against who plays a lot like him, and that, of course, Kevin is Jackson Ellis. I love it, Steve. You're right. And for teams that are looking at filling their position, this is exactly what they want. A chance to get to see both of them go toe-to-toe, head-to-head, -to -head, and play with chips on the line. You, know, you could see some shifting in draft boards after this one. And we touched on his draft stock earlier. He might be going up the way he's playing today. Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, he's been something, hasn't he? Really competing well out there. A moment to check it. Fourth quarter on the court for the Stars. We've got Len. Cullen is out there with Carter Williams. Then it's McLemore. And it's Muhammad in at the power forwards position. Boy, he's really been active on the glass. And a nice bonus from him. I mean, if he can rebound like this in the NBA, he'll make a team very happy. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll shoot two right here. It's going to go on Trey Burton. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle steps for the Stars. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And they've really done a nice job on the glass, too. A lot of second-chance points here tonight. Ellis, he's checked in for McCullough. Lock at six. Porter kicks to Burke, and it's blocked by Carter Williams, and the ball ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And so here are the elites. It's a three-point game. No good from the Beast. They've clearly been the better team on the glass, but it hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard yet. But you feel like it's going to, to reward this team at some point. They've got to continue to maintain the energy. Pass to Porter. Bullseye! Boy, the deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. And that goes for both teams, Steve. Everybody firing on all cylinders right now. Ellis outside. Out to the right wing. From the arc, shot clock at five. Elites with the rebound. On the quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. To take the lead, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's on Jackson Ellis. Some good numbers for the Beast. He has 11 points, and he's added to his totals by picking up three points at the line as well. Yeah, and that's uh, that's something that's important for him and his team, getting a few extra points and knocking those free throws down and helping your team any way you can. The Stars making a switch here. Then it's checked in. The baseline J. Rebound by Noel. Noel's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's the beast. He's guarded by Ellis. There's the pick to the inside. And Noel throws it down. You gotta love this team's grid. After trailing early, they have fought all their way back here. You know, they could have gotten down on themselves when they were down earlier, but I like the fact they never gave up, guys. Here's Carter Williams. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's going to be on Nerlens Noel. Now, this is why the breakaway rim was invented, for plays just like that. Well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. Uh, didn't he? It was a great dunk and also a great game we've got here. Down low, Zeller. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Well, the big fella's showing us a little explosiveness for a change. Well, maybe Clark is working on his dunk skills because he looked perfectly at home right there. Yeah, sometimes he can climb those, so glad to see him get that one down. Carter Williams kicks to Bennett. Feeds to Carter Williams. Pass to Ellis. Cuts off the pass. Now, here's Burke. He's guarded closer. The pass to the beast. Lots of room. Bullseye. And the elites lead by four. And a closer look here at the hustle stance for the elites. Boy, their hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. 
And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And the other thing, guys, defensively, a great job of closing out and blocking shots. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Well, over the break, I listened in on what the head coach for the Stars was trying to get across in their huddle. He actually lit into them pretty heavily, saying, we're being way too soft on the inside. I better start to see some toughness and more shots being challenged. No more easy baskets. Pretty strong words, guys. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole, because he is not helping their offense. Here's Burke. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Now it's a seven-point elite lead. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. Here's the Stars with the ball. And there's the feed to Ellis. And he uses the glass on the way. You know, it's really going to be all about hard work from this point on. And they worked hard to create that high-quality shot right there. Yeah, and that's their goal down the stretch. Continue to, to find those close-range shots. Here's the beast. He feeds it to Porter. Gets the front of the rim and out. Nobody anywhere close to him. Where's the defense? He's got to make that shot, though. Porter with the steal. Pass to the beast. To the left wing. Here's Burke. The rebound by Bennett. Bennett's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Even though he isn't having the best of game from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. That one goes. Comes. And now just a three-point elite lead. Now he's one of the best in the league when it comes to executing that lead pass. Passes it to the Beast. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Elites lead by five. Hard to count how many of their possessions have ended just like that one, with him bailing them out with a big shot. Steve, he's been fantastic, and that's the reason this game is coming down to the wire. Ellis, the pass to Carter Williams. Back to Ellis. And the three ball is good. He's too dangerous a shooter to leave alone behind the arc. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sideline. Well, over the break, I listened in on what the head coach for the Stars was trying to get across in their huddle. He told his guys that their offense needed to run through Ellis. Coach was obviously looking for big things from him in this game and is still hoping that takes shape very quickly. The next message he had for them was that they should be attacking the basket on offense. He felt very strongly that the defense they're up against is vulnerable down low. Guys, they're operating under the principle that it's never too late to fine tune the game. Great to hear from you, Doris. One forty-six left to play here in the fourth. He kicks the land. Yes, and it's Ellis picking up the assist. And that's 13 points for Alex Land. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce back. Burke, the pass to the beast. Excellent D there from Land. The Stars trailing. Here's Ellis. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Boy, he quieted the crowd with that big shot. That's a big play. Yeah, the crowd's been hoping for something to cheer for, but nothing. Here's Burke, and it's sent back by Bennett. And the ball ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Caldwell Pope, who's checked in for the Elites. OT here with just over two and a half minutes gone by. McCollum dishes to Muhammad. Kicks to McCollum. Pass to Len. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And now it's a three-point Stars lead. He is setting this place on fire, fellas. This shooting has been off the chart. Len out there with Bennett. Then there's Muhammad. Then it's McLemore. And it's McCollum in at the point. Porter passes to the Beast. To the right side. Just four to shoot. And that one ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. 
Maybe a low percentage pass, but it, it still nearly got through. I like it, though. I mean, it's an aggressive play. Heads up defending reflected away. Catching up on the changes for the Stars. Ellis is checked in for McLemore. And it's Carter Williams in for McCullough. Porter with the steal. Just over three and a half minutes played in the extra period here. Here's the beast. Nails it. And what a sensational bucket to bring down with him one. Oh, what a clutch shot. That could be the difference maker. Big, big moment in this game. Dishes it to Ellis to the inside. And stolen by Noel. Or kicks to Porter. Yes! Kevin, they still got a foul to give at this point. That strategy uh, wouldn't be bad to, to use it here if they need to. And here is Carter Williams. He dishes it to Ellis. Carter Williams, the pass to Ellis. It falls! Perfect inbounds pass and an easy two points. The dive for the ball. Stolen by Van. So a close game sees the Stars taking this one. Well, and you have to be excited for the upcoming draft after a game like that. A lot of talent on display in that game as the Stars get the win. And there might be some winners and losers here as far as draft stock goes. You never know what the scouts saw, but in my eyes, a few players showed they've got game. Well, that will do it for us here. Hope you enjoyed your glimpse into what the next NBA class has to offer. On behalf of Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us. Hey, man, good game, even though you got lucky. <laughs> Look, man, all I know is I outplayed you when it counted most, all right? And I know the scouts saw every minute of it. You don't know what you're talking about, dog. Yeah. Scouts know my track record. You ain't have nothing on me before the game, and you ain't going to have nothing on me after it. Is that right? Yeah. Guess what? Right now, I got my finger on you. And I'm about to have a whole lot more if you don't back up off me. This ain't the road you want to be taking, dog. Hey, man, we don't need this. We don't need this right now, man. Both of y'all got too much at stake to let a little rivalry get in the way. Looks like you got the little man fighting your battles for you again, huh? <laughs> it's cool. Yo, I guess we'll see each other at the draft. Ready got a fly suit picked out, ready to go. Can't wait to see what your mama pick out for you. I'm sorry, man. I know I got to control myself better with that dude. He just gets on my nerves, you know what I'm saying? Can't let him do that, bro. When you get to the NBA, there's going to be dudes like that all over the place, man, trying to just get a rise out of you. If you can't get your emotions in check, you ain't going to last long in the association. <laughs> yeah, man, it's easier said than done when there are dudes like that walking around, man. man I know, I know. Just, just keep it in mind. <sighs> all right, sure. All right, look. I'm going to try to get info. From all the scouts that were there, I could tell you that they're more than pleased with your performance. <laughs> hey, I think you finally moved past Ellis on most of their boards. And the media's buzzing, baby. That's going to go a long way. <laughs> all right. Man, I'm just glad to get this game behind me, man. So much pressure going into it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you. <sighs> ready to move on to that next phase. Oh, speaking of that, man, we got a lot to do to get ready for the draft, man. So uh, go get changed. We talk a little more. Sounds right. good, baby. Good work. Thanks, boss.